Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to deal with a question of, I suppose, do we have a quick test for testing the transitivity of a relation? Okay. Uh, a lot of my students uh, have asked me, uh, is there any quicker way than the standard ways that are presented in classroom for checking for tan transitivity? That sometimes take uh, quite a long time to test. Uh, and there is a quick way that we could test for transitivity. And this particular short video is going to deal with that particular technique. Okay, so the first thing to realize is that we're wanting to test a relation for transitivity. And like in all of our previous videos, we've defined a relation simply to be a subset of a cross product. Okay, uh, or what we've really said is that when we have a relation, that a relation is defined on a particular set. Uh, in this particular example, the set that we're going to be using is A is equal to the set that contains the elements 4, 2, 4, 7 and 9. We've constructed the cross product, or we've constructed the ordered pairs that should be in the cross product by using this particular type of table. Uh, and we've taken them ordered pairs and we've put them into a set. And this set is defined to be A cross A, or the cross product of A with itself. And the relation is simply a subset of this particular set. Okay. So, if we choose a relation, so let me maybe choose a relation that we know is transitive. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the relation or... Uh, that's equal to the set, let's actually call this R1, that's equal to the set that contains the ordered pairs uh, 2, 4, it contains 4, 7, and it contains 2, 7, okay? So this relation contains 2, 4, 4, 7, and it also contains 2, 7. And the question is, is this transitive? Uh, well, I suppose let's draw the digraph of the relation first of all. Okay, The digraph of this relation, uh, well, the relation is built on the set A. So the digraph, the digraph would look something like this. So we need a node for each element in the set. Okay, So we need a node for each element in the set. Okay. Uh, and then what we do is for each ordered pair, we place an edge on the digraph. So we have the ordered pair 2 is taken to 4, there we go. We have the ordered pair 4 is taken to 7, there we go. And we have the ordered pair 2 is taken to 7. And what we know here is that this digraph is transitive, because any time I can make a double hop, as you can see, from I can go from 2 to 4 and 4 to 7, I can always make a hop from my source to my final destination by skipping my intermediate step. So this digraph, by definition, it is transitive. Okay, so it is transitive. Uh, so the relation is transitive also. Uh, but other than drawing the digraph and inspecting the digraph for these double hops, is there any other algebraic way that we could test to see whether a relation is transitive? Because when we have a digraph with lots of edges, it is possible that we might miss certain double hops. And there is a rule. And the rule says this. It says that a relation a relation or on a set A, okay? Don't forget all relations are built from a set. So we have a relation or on a set A. And it says a relation or on a set A uh, is transitive is transitive if and only if okay, uh, the composition of the relation or composed with itself or or after or is a subset of the relation. Okay? Uh, so really what we need to do is to test whether a relation is transitive or not. We need to do the composition of the relation with itself. And if the contents of that composition are a subset of the original relation, well, then we know that the relation is transitive based on this particular, let's call it a theorem. Okay. Uh, in a later video, we'll have a look at a proof of this particular theorem. But for this particular video, uh, we're going to rely on this particular theorem uh, to help us in testing for transitivity. Okay. So let's try this example. Okay. So what we know is that R1 is the relation that contains the values or the ordered pairs 2, 4, 4, 7 and it also contains 2, 7. Okay? Now we know it's transitive. We know that because we've inspected its digraph and all double hops. Uh, when we have a double hop we can go from the source directly into the destination. 
But from an algebraic perspective, is this transitive? Well, let's construct let's construct or after or the composition, okay? The composition, okay, of or with itself. And how we'll do that is we'll do a digraph or we'll do a directed graph uh, where we have where we plot down the domain and the range for the first uh, relation. And then we put down the domain and the range for the second relation. And the domain and the range is the same relation on the same set, so we know that the domains and ranges are going to be the same. So what we do is, I'll do the domain is 2, 4, 7, and 9. And the range is 2, 4, 7, and 9. Okay. So I want to construct or after or. Now this is a little bit... I suppose the way it's written can be a little bit uh, confusing. This tells to us that I must do this relation first, then I do this relation. Because in words it says this relation is done after we do this relation. Now they're the same relation, so it makes no difference. Uh, so let's do or, okay, the relation or, okay. Uh, well, or takes two to four, so two is taken into four. It takes four to seven, so four is taken into seven. And it takes 2 to 7, so 2 is taken into 7 here. Okay, So that's the relation or done. Now let's do the relation or after we've done that or. Okay, so the domain values for this or are still 2, 4, 2, 4, 7, and 9. Its range values are still going to be 2, 4, 7, and 9. So this is going to represent the domain and the range for this or, which is the same relation. Okay. So let's map the values. So 2 is taken to 4, so this 2 is taken into this 4. 4 is taken to 7, so this 4, oh, this 4 here is taken into that 7. And 2 is taken to 7, so this 2 here is taken into that 7. And this is the relation or plotted. So what we have done here is we've done, oh, we've done or, oh, that's wrong, 